team's been a struggle at times. They lean heavily on Makai Ashton Langford. Hey, look, they can get stuck in third gear offensively. Those droughts, they have, they're well documented. This guy in Makai has to hunt his from the tip. Here we go. What's the mindset going to be? Bert Smith, Tim Clockerty, Tommy Morrissey, our officials tonight. BC coming off a close loss Saturday to Duke. Miami started 4-0 in conference play. They're coming off that elite eight run, but the Hurricanes lost for the first time in the ACC last Wednesday against Georgia Tech, their first game since then. Isaiah Wong with his first touch into the paint, nearly turned it over. It's tracked down by Norchad O'Meara. Shot clock down to 10. O'Meara, the turnaround, and he cannot get it to go. Boston College battled through some injuries the first two months of the season. Now starting to get healthy. Almost had the upset against the Blue Devils up at Conte Forum over the weekend. And Earl Grant still tinkering with the rotation to get his best players minutes, keep everybody happy. This is a team that's going to surprise some folks in conference play. And you know why they're going to compete? They're going to work on every possession as Prince gets one to go early on. Alikbe has been huge for this group. A dynamic piece hits the mid-range. He's a freshman playing more minutes of late. Wong from the baseline and able to draw the foul. It's going to be on T.J. Bickerstaff, his first. Expect a lot of that early on from Isaiah Wong. Held to six digits against Georgia Tech. And what does he do in bounce back games when he has a dud? He averages about 20 coming off of it. So he's going to hunt his early on. And here he does in isolation. Wong coming off his worst game of the season. You mentioned just six points. One of 11 from the field. 0 for 8 from 3. And this tells you how good Miami is. They did not play well offensively against Georgia Tech, yet still almost won the game. They had the lead in the final few minutes. But that's the difference between just being a good team and being elite. Elite ones still find a way to win those, and that's what Coach L is going to expect from his group. He said, we can throw away the missed shots, but we got to take care of the basketball, and we got to rebound. Zachary almost turned it over, and now we get a held ball. Possession arrow to BC. This is what BC wants early on. I mean, first 90 seconds, crowd quiet, have really no rhythm to this game, and that's what Boston College likes. They want this one to be physical, one in the painted area, a place they feel like they can thrive. Here's Zachary, a dead-eye shooter a season ago. His numbers from deep have fallen off. Shot clock at five. Bickerstaff battling against Omir, lost it. Miller the other way, kicks. Poplar hits the three. Wugga Poplar. Starts with Omir, disciplined defensively. Doesn't bite, doesn't get himself in early foul trouble. Off Bickerstaff, they get the rebound, then they run. And they are so good in the open floor. And Jim Laranega made a point to hammer it home to Omir. Stay out of foul trouble. Miami a much different team with him on the floor. Langford backing down against Poplar. Battle for the rebound, and there's Omir. Bodies just bounce off of Omir. Looks like an edge rusher, but obviously a highly skilled basketball player. He moves men. And Nigel Pack was held. We'll get a foul against BC. It's Zachary. You look at Norchad Omir, Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year, Sunbelt Conference Defensive Player of the Year last year at Arkansas State. Bowling ball shouldered. <laughs> Miami hasn't had a low post presence like him in a few years. Here's Miller, and Jordan Miller cannot finish from close, which is rare. DeMar Langford, who's been more of a facilitator this year, his older brother, Makai Ashton Langford, and now a league bay. Another rebound by Norchad O'Meara, and a near turnover. It comes to BC, loose ball. We get a whistle. Jump ball. Possession arrow swings to Miami. This Canes team, Jordan, not especially deep, but their top six can go with anybody. Yeah, and, and, and it'll be curious to see what that rotation looks like as the season progresses because they're all guys on that bench who've lost some of their minutes to some guys who've come into the program. 
but were capable pieces for a team that went to the Elite Eight last year. So they have bodies. How about the feed by Omir finding Poplar down low? He's got five. Poplar, a good job at the short corner, making himself the receiver for the easy catch and the finish. Jaden Zachary checked by Nigel Peck. Lee Bay down low, working on Poplar, who tries to sell the charge and does so successfully. And that's where Alik Bay as a freshman is going to grow and learn. He's got the advantage in physicality over Poplar. So Poplar's waiting for him to lower the boom, and that's elite defensive anticipation. Alik Bay's got to learn to play within himself there, and that will come. He's a young guy. BC showing some full court pressure. Just some light stuff to shorten the shot clock here. Here comes Miller. Now Nigel Pack, who transferred from Kansas State. First team all Big 12 last year. Loose ball. Pack able to recover. Up ahead to Miller. Great Numbers. Poplar! The hammer! But the look from Jordan Miller does not elect to go chest pass. Bounce pass. Step and toe for Poplar to punctuate. And he's got seven of Miami's eight. Kai Ashton Langford over O'Meer, way off. Bickerstaff for the follow. TJ Bickerstaff did not have a field goal in 20 minutes against Duke. In fact, he only had two points in his last 36 minutes over two games prior to that basket. Poplar's had the hot hand. Can't get the home roll. And a rebound by CJ Pena, Division II transfer, who actually began his career playing NAIA ball. Matchup there, Wong defending Makai Ashton Langford. Now it's DeMar Langford. Pena for three. It's good. That's tough. And it's almost like Miller wasn't expecting Pena to pull from there, but he has in his game. Anthony Walker getting ready to check in for Miami. We get a timeout. 8-7 Hurricanes in the early going. Wugga Poplar carrying the Canes. I'll be like, shoes, sunset on the beach. Make me want to pull up on Miami with the heat. It's not a pizza, it's a milk. And for $6.99, it's just for you. This is the truck that helps keep families safe and the truck that helps you get far from home. This is the truck in the outdoors, the early adopters, and the rising generation. This is the one more truck owners are switching to. This is what it means to be a Ram. Now get 2,000 bonus cash plus 1,000 Chrysler Capital bonus cash on the 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. What if I need help picking a plane? State Farm's here to help. Okay, guys. What if he's not actually 7'4"? At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, I'm Lauren. I lost 67 pounds in 12 months on Golo. Golo and the release has been phenomenal in my life. It's all natural. It's not that gives you the jitters. It makes you go through your days with energy and you're not tired anymore and your anxiety, everything is gone. It's definitely worth trying. It is an amazing product. Over 100 million Americans have a low credit score. Self is a new way to build credit that doesn't require a credit score. Plus, Self helps you save money every month and reports your payments to all three credit bureaus. Download the app today. Why pay over a hundred bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want on the only live TV streaming service rated number one in customer satisfaction by JD Power. Try free at FuboTV.com. Pizza makes any day great. So Marco's is offering 30% off all menu price pizzas. It's the perfect excuse to have a lot of great days. January's looking real good. Marco's. Pizza lovers, get it. 
There is a lot that goes into becoming a licensed therapist. Two years of graduate school followed by two years of clinical training. You literally have to do 3,000 hours plus of interactions with clients. It is quite a journey. BC bringing its seven-footer Quinton Post off the bench and the matchup to watch now in the paint is Post, a true seven-footer who can play outside as well against Norchad Omir, who has struggled with staying on the court at times due to foul trouble. And it will really be challenged because this is a Boston College team that will play through Post because of his skill level, his ability to pass it, score from the inside and outside, as you mentioned. So a lot of attention on Omir. Can he play clean ball? And Post to get this offense kick-started. Post had 16 Saturday against Duke, just his third game back after a foot injury, catches it down low and right away able to draw the foul. I'll tell you right now, Madsen got lucky distributing that basketball. Poor decision, but Kane's defenders had their back to him. So somehow it snuck through to Post, finds himself right away at the free throw line. The foul is on Wugga Poplar. Post from the Netherlands. He and Rick Smith, the two dunking Dutchmen. Absolutely. And with his return to the lineup, what does it mean for BC? It means that they have a calming presence during those scoring droughts. Look, a safety valve for any team when you're getting a defense up on you, throw it down to the low post, play through your big. Boston College has one of those guys. It also challenges Omir to go outside and defend. A place is not very comfortable. Wong, strong to the basket, gets separation, left it short, put back not there. BC currently on a 7-0 run. Pena against Walker. And it's tracked down by Omir. There have been many clean possessions for the Canes offensively here. This would be a nice place to get set, run good action, get a clean look, start to develop that rhythm. Here's your six minutes into the game, and it's kind of been no identity. Wong to Poplar, who's got seven of Miami's eight, and he shuffled his feet. What's BC doing defensively? They're not giving up any advantage. They're making drivers meet at chest, and they're competing on the backboard. And this is what we saw from Miami during the struggles against Georgia Tech. Uh, a little bit loosey-goosey with the basketball and giving the inferior team an opportunity to play with you. And that's what we've seen early on. They've tallied a lot of turnovers, but there's been a carelessness with the basketball early. Makai Ashton Langford working on Bensley Joseph. Sneaks underneath over Anthony Walker. To score, just comfortable and backing down and was able to keep help side away, turn over that shoulder away from it and finish. Good execution, one on one play for the most skilled guy with the basketball for the Eagles. Joseph, who's been Miami's sixth man, plays more than 20 minutes a game. Now Wong on the drive. Draws three. Draws three, make a decision. Walker hesitated. Back to Wong, shot clock down to five. Miami clears out for Wong. Shot clock at two. Contested shot and a dazzling brush stroke by Isaiah Wong. Good defense. Just better offense. I mean, Makai Ashton Langford did everything he was supposed to defensively right there. Langford just has to shrug and get back and try and play basketball offense. Now it's DeMar Langford looking for Madsen. And the tap in is good. And it might have been tapped in by Miller himself trying to corral that defensive rebound. Joseph, the crossover, draws the defense, kicks to Miller, and the three rattles home. You'll live with that if you're Boston College. Miller is capable of shooting the three, no question, but he hovers around 31%, so you'll live with those shot opportunities and bear to the percentages. Here's Madsen, the Cincinnati transfer, away. Wong pumps the brakes. Poplar on the drive, the dish. Miller is fouled on the way up. 
Couple dribble handoffs to allow them to play downhill. Good execution from the Canes early on as they try to discover that rhythm. We've got a tight one here at Coral Gables. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside. Out. Get healthy, real hydration. And no added sugar, artificial sweeteners, or added colors. Gatorade Fit. Healthy, real hydration today helps you fuel tomorrow. Relapsing MS isn't the only thing I have going on. That's why my doctor and I chose Keysimpta. Keysimpta is different. It's the only B cell treatment for RMS I can take at home once a month. Keysimpta was proven superior at reducing the rate of relapses, active lesions, and slowing disability progression versus Abagio. For me, a once monthly treatment just works for my schedule. Don't take Keysimpta if you have hepatitis B and tell your doctor if you have had it as it could come back. Keysimpta can cause serious side effects, including infections. While no cases of PML were reported in RMS clinical trials, it could happen. Tell your doctor if you had or plan to have vaccines, or if you are or plan to become pregnant. Key symptom may cause a decrease in some types of antibodies. The most common side effects are upper respiratory tract infection, headache, and injection reactions. When I'm ready, I spend less than one minute a month taking key symptom. How I spend the rest of my time is up to me. Ask your doctor about treating RMS with key symptom. This is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation loan. These programs, which the credit card companies like to keep secret, exist to aid American consumers struggling with overwhelming credit card debt by offering tremendous savings and real debt relief. Accredited Debt Relief has established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you qualify for. They've helped qualify consumers with over a billion dollars in debt and are A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need during these hard economic times. For this free information, call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline now. Call 800-339-7290. That's 800-339-7290. 800-339-7290. Call now. Stars from around the globe reunite in Saudi Arabia. The Spanish Super Cup semifinals. Tomorrow on ESPN2, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN+. Plus. Earl Grant in his second season as BC's head coach. And he took over a program that has not been to the NCAA tournament since 2009 when Al Skinner was still the head coach. This is still a program that is in a rebuild mode, but there is a sense of optimism, especially the way they finished last season. They went on that great run in the ACC tournament, lost to Miami in overtime. I'm going to tell you right now, Anish, Coach Earl Grant is a star in the profession. And I always look at coaches that take over programs in the first few years and say, how do you gauge success? Well, do they have an identity? This group has an identity, meaning they're going to defend, they're going to try to turn you over, but they're not going to they're not going to sacrifice too much, and they're going to compete. Meanwhile, Jim Laranega, 12th season now at Miami. He's the Canes' all-time leader in wins, and last month named a finalist for the Naismith Hall of Fame. Call Coach Grant a star. Coach L's a legend. I ain't, he is one of the guys on the sidelines still doing it at an elite level, elite eight level, if you will, from a season ago. But you walk away from Coach L, and you're just smarter. You just learn something. He gives you a gym, and he just walks away and makes you think. The only coach, Coach L, with 100-plus conference wins in three different Division I leagues, or to three, at three D1 schools. That did it at George Mason, and also did it at Bowling Green. It's incredible. And last year, the Elite Eight run for Miami, the Canes had never advanced that far in the NCAA tournament. And with the team that they have, again, depth may be an issue, but with the guys they have offensively, they're going to be able to score on anybody. Jim Laranega telling us the defensive piece is what he wants to see 
become a part of this team's DNA the rest of the year. And they're guarding, and they've improved there, no question. This is a balanced team, but of course he wants to see them get better. Pack for three. They're waiting for consistency from Nigel Pack from deep. 34% this year, 44% a year ago. That was his call. A new environment, playing for a new team, coming from Kansas State. You know the performer he was there. He'll get acclimated. It's early, but you see the firepower and so many different guys that can hurt you. And he's also playing more point guard this year than he did last year. Zachary backing down Joseph. And the rebound pulled down by Pack. Boston College has done, for the most part, a pretty good job getting back and taking away the transition, a place that Miami's looking to get easy ones. And unforced error by Bensley Joseph. Both these teams pride themselves on taking care of the basketball. Rare turnover for a Miami team that averages only about eight a game. It, it's bigger than just the giveaway because it takes you away from the ability to establish that rhythm and get this high-powered offense, seeing the ball go in the basket on consistent possessions. It disrupts that, and it gives Boston College that opportunity. Coach Larinaga wants to have more possessions in the opposition. It's a simple game. It's been a game of runs early on. Miami now on an 8-0 run. The long arms of Jordan Miller with the intercept. Too long of a defense. You can't make those type of passes. Miller lines it up, in and out. Prince Aligbe, he and Post both missed time due to injuries, both still working their way back. That one knocked away. Madsen able to recover. Still plenty of time to shoot. Jackson's really trying to work in that low block. Guard trying to post up. Post has his pass picked. Beverly ahead of the pack. Accelerates to the basket. Count it. Plus one. An absolute blur, this Canes defense, swarming to the basketball like Parada. Miller at 6-7, able to start the break. Beverly, look, the minutes have decreased from last year to this, but yet still, next man up mentality comes in and produces in the open floor. And how about the substitution? Post just picked up his second. He goes to the bench as soon as he exits. Guess who comes in for Miami? Omir. Omir. <laughs> And this will be an interesting point. Great observation there, Anish. Is this an opportunity where the Canes seize it and take full advantage with Omir offensively? And also, he can move some bodies on the defensive side here. Rebound, start the break. An 11-0 run for Miami. Ashton Langford, BC's leading scorer. Malik Bay, shaded by Miller. Shot clock at five. Alik Bay wants help. Instead, he'll shoot. Blocked by Jordan Miller. Joseph for three. Back iron. Offensive rebound at new 20. It's Pack. He'll step back from the corner. And the fight for the rebound. And good restraint there by Omir. Not committing the silly foul. That's what Jim Laranega wanted to get to him. And I got to imagine Coach Laird Egg also wants Omir to get a touch offensively on that low block with Post not in. There's Omir battling for the rebound, winning the battle. Your big man at Omir is fighting. He's not fouling. Reward the big man with the touch. Keep him interested. He's got five rebounds without a point. Averaging close to a double-double this season, 14 and 9. He's got it in the low post against Bickerstaff. And that's muscle. That, that's all it is, because Bickerstaff was right there. He said, okay, I'm going to play to my chest. Oh, 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 okay. It fell back. That's just leaning into that God-given strength. And Omir makes him pay with the punishing lane. The guy calling for BC Radio, three seats down from us, used to do that a lot. <laughs> Daya Abrams was a prop. A league bay, the running hook, short. Another re rebound by Omir. Harlan Beverly, the scoop and the score. A timeout by Earl Grant, Miami in the midst of a 15-0 run. Miami discovered the transition game. Beverly did it once, why not do it again? Bingo roll.
you can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has her back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. Hey, Dark Roast Drinkers. It's Duncan, the place you didn't think was for you. Well, meet the side of Duncan you haven't seen. The darkest, roastiest side we've ever had. Pretty good dark voice, huh? Duncan Midnight. America runs on Duncan. Breakfast wants you back. Try Just Crack an Egg, packed with real potatoes, veggies, meat, and cheese. Just add a fresh egg for a hot scramble in less than two minutes to get those warm, fuzzy feelings again. Take breakfast back. Find it in the aisle. Sure, there's food at home. But is there a McDouble with extra pickles, a side of fries, and a high C at home? Don't be ridiculous. Buying pants sucks. It should not be this difficult. These just came in. They're the only pant from Fabletics. Four-way stretch, done. Always stretch, you're gonna feel the difference. I'm light as a feather, yeah, baby, I flow. It's hard to look at my resume and not find a reason to toes. I'm counting my blessings. We ain't stressing, just look at this glow. Saturday prime time, Bucks, Heat on ABC. Ever hear the expression, easy as pie? Well, pie isn't always easy. You know what is always easy? Getting a credit card consolidation loan from Lightstream. It's easier than pie. Way easier. Apply now at trylightstream.com for your discount. Gips has given me the control of my hair back. Seeing the progress was awesome. Seeing my hair grow back so quick. I feel great. I feel confident. I feel very happy about my journey so far with Keeps and, and where it's going in the future. Get started at keeps.com slash TV. This bakery needs new equipment fast to keep up with demand. So they're going to On Deck, the online lender that makes it easy to choose your loan and if approved, get funds as soon as the same day. Your loan is On Deck. Not him. His first name's Derek. Too young. Too old. Too medium aged. Ooh, great reviews. Available tomorrow? Booked. Dr. Hamilton is perfect for me. Search, read reviews, book a doctor on ZocDoc. Coming up on ESPN2 tonight at 9, we take you to the Moody Center in Austin. Marcus Carr and 10th ranked Texas hosting Mike Miles Jr. And number 17, TCU, Big 12, year in, year out, top to bottom, continues to be an Iroquois gauntlet. So I saw a crazy stat, and somebody feel free on Twitter to hit me up and correct me because y'all love doing that. Uh, Big 12, the top 10 teams with the toughest remaining schedules in college basketball, first 10, Big 12 teams. What does that tell you? That conference is deep and very competitive, a lot of talent. Pena puts an end to what was a 15-0 Miami run. First field goal, first points for BC in almost six minutes. And in talking with the radio broadcast team and former star Danya Abrams was telling us about, you know, BC last year would have 15-0 runs against them. They've limited those. They're back to giving up that kind of scoring drought. Can they fight back here to close out this first half? Shot clock down to four. Miller short. Now, the issue for BC this season, they really have not had any three-point shooting. A guy they counted on, freshman Donald Hand, the junior, out for the season, torn ACL. Langford knocks down the jumper. And then Zachary hasn't been able to replicate his production from the outside from last year. This is a team that in five league games, shooting 24% from three, they've only made, on average, four threes per game in those contests. And some may ask, well, how does Zachary take that dip from the three-point line? And it's very easy. He, he snuck up on people last year. He's now at the top of the scouting report. People are keenly aware of his ability, and they're going to try and cut off the head of that snake and see who else can beat you. Now, Makaias from Lankford, capable, but he does a lion's share of his work inside the arc as well. So that three-point line is not an asset for this team to overcome double-figure deficits. Here is Bickerstaff, tallest player on the floor at 6'9", and BC turns it over again. That's five. 
Wong drives, stops. Good ball rotation. Miller working on Pena. Miller gets free. Lefty layup. No. Tippin not there. And a foul on the floor against BC. That was a heck of a move from the sinewy forward. Standing him up. Miller did hesitation to create devastation. But then the bunny becomes a bear. You got to finish after a move like that. Thought he got too cute with that one-hand finger roll. With that size, big fella, go ahead and hook that thing. You're athletic enough. He is so good inside the arc. Last year, shot 66% from two-point range. Poplar lost it, no foul. And now Zachary, BC, their offense at its best in transition. Near turnover, Langford lays it in. When it's unsettled, BC excels. Langford did a phenomenal job of reading, not giving up on a play, much like when a quarterback is fielding pressure, a wide receiver keeps moving to make a catch. He just cut right into the teeth of that defense, made him a receiver, easy lane. Miller again, spin cycle, and he goes to the right hand. Gifted player, Jordan Miller. Just an, an interchangeable piece, can guard one through five, but has a knack for being around the basketball and scoring opportunities. Puts himself in a spot to win. Miller's got seven. Pena's knocked down a couple of threes. And that's the other Langford brother, Makai Ashton Langford, getting in close. BC has now hit its last four from the field. There's Poplar. He had seven of Miami's first eight. Has not scored since. Wong gets separation. Leans in. Draws the contact. And able to draw the foul. Savvy veteran move by Isaiah Wong. It's a bucket getter. I mean, that's what a bucket getter does. He says, okay, you're going to be afraid of my quick first step to attack. And then watch, he knows the ball's going to come back to him, but here we're going to get Miller, that spin cycle winning layup. But Wong understood, okay, they're going to respect me from three because they're scared I so I can drive it. Let me get him up in the air and lean into it. Then DeMar Langford, who picked up his first, you can tell by the reaction. As soon as he stepped in, he knew he stepped into a fox trap. That's the worst feeling, too, and they're rewarding those three-point shooters. As long as you're not flopping, because we know what the penalty is there now, but... Wong understood, <laughs> it's in slow motion, defender when you're up in the air like that, because you're coming down and you know inevitably you're catching a shooter's body. That's like when somebody agrees to a game of three card Monty, gotcha. <laughs> yes, exactly. Wong an 83% free throw shooter. Tested the draft waters in the off season. He is one of four starters for Miami this season who has a 30-point game in their career. That's what makes this yeah. offense so dangerous. It's not fun to guard. And going back to Isaiah Wong, we talked about his playmaking ability coming into the broadcast, his willingness to be a passer. It's because the next level, the, those, those scouts want to see, can, okay, he can score it, but can he make others around him better as a distributor? You're going to have to have that in the bag as a pro. And he showcased that this first half of the season. Kai Ashton Langford to his brother DeMar. When you turned on the tape for Miami, how quickly did you notice Wong's vision and his improved ability there? It, it stood out because the first few years of his career, bucket getter, just get the ball and wired to score. The talent around him he's become more comfortable with understanding, I can make those plays because they'll complete them. But he still does that. He still can get to the cup at 6'2", deceptively quick, deceptively athletic but a great finisher. But he has more trust in his teammates now. So you're seeing the complete play. Wong has eight, already shaking off the worst game of his season. Jamar Langford, the drive and kick. Zachary thought about the three, passed it up. Shot clock at seven. Makai Ashton Langford over Wong, teardrop. I'll tell you where the Canes have struggled here in this first half and why they haven't been able to separate like they want to. Their de perimeter defense has not been good. They're not keeping guys in front. This perimeter for BC is challenging the defensive acumen of the Canes, and they're winning by getting to the painted area time and time again. Miller launches and hits. Second to three for Jordan Miller. He's got 10 to lead all scores. 
Let's see if the Eagles continue to drive with the Langford brothers. It's worked. They've made six in a row. Down low, Pena against Wong. Using his size, no, but a foul. The Canes start to create some separation. Isaiah Wong, hesitation, gets to the cup with his dominant hand on the left side, but Wong defensively can't keep Makai Ashton Lakeford from the float game. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside. Out. Get healthy, real hydration. And no added sugar, artificial sweeteners, or added colors. Gatorade Fit. Healthy, real hydration today helps you fuel tomorrow. Come be a part of the world's most magical celebration, only here through March. A once-in-a-lifetime moment filled with once-in-a-lifetime magic and memories you don't want to miss. A celebration 50 years in the making, and all that's missing is you. Join us now for the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Celebration, only through March 31st, 2023. The newest thing from Pizza Hut isn't pizza at all. It's cheesy, so crispy, loaded with toppings, and just $6.99. Enough for two, price for one. New Pizza Hut melts, just $6.99. Like, nice. My favorite show's coming back tonight. Time to cart some snacks through Instacart. I'll get some treats. Oh, and some drinks. <gasps> Wait. Did they release the whole season? Yeah, it's going to be a late night. Better cart some ice cream for the two-part finale. When your day should be ending, but a new season is starting, the world is your cart. Visit instacart.com or download the app and get free delivery on your first order. I love your browser history. You are so generous with your personal data. Switch on privacy, switch off trackers and viruses. Go to NordVPN.com. NordVPN, safely be you. Choosing Miracle Ear was a great decision. Like when I decided to host family movie nights. Miracle Ear made it easy. I just booked an appointment and a certified hearing care professional evaluated my hearing loss and helped me find the right device calibrated to my unique hearing needs. Now I enjoy every moment, the quiet ones, and the loud ones. Oh. Make a sound decision. Call 1-800-MIRACLE now and book your free hearing evaluation. Miami and BC came into this game as the worst three-point shooting teams in the ACC, uh, but that has not been the case tonight. <laughs> yeah, it, but you know what it is, though? I I'll tell you, Anish, the, the percentage is, I mean, Four or six for Miami from beyond the arc, two or four from BC. They're taking good ones. They're, and for Jordan Miller, who's feeling it early on, I mean, he's a 31% three point shooter, but he's being challenged there. It's part of his game he wants to showcase, and he's capable. And so these are good looks that are resulting in makes. Now, Miller has been impressive in this first half. He's on the defensive end, he's knocked down shots from the outside, and he's been a facilitator. Yeah, stuff a sh stat sheet one time. He's doing everything. Poplar for three. And that is 10 points for Poplar, the most he's ever scored in an ACC game. Miami with its largest lead of the night. I Ashton Langford guarded by Wong. Good recovery on the screen by Miami. Now it's Pena, five to shoot. Ashton Langford down the lane, gets past Wong. The tip-in is not there by McLaughlin. 
But again, Ashley Lankford finding lanes to get to the rim. That's got to be some short up in the second half. Nigel Pack catch and release. You're already dealing with a loaded group with offensive weaponry. The one place where you feel like you're not going to get burned is the three-point line, but the Canes, everything coming up. Gold. Meanwhile, BC misses at the rim again. Miami looking to run. Here comes Poplar. Omir on Pena. Oh. That mismatch, and Omir, the gentle drop in. Felt like a little dream shake. A, a, a hat tip to, to Hakeem Olajuwon completely stood up the defender, freeze him, and finish him. Miami's had a 15-0 run in this half, now in the midst of an 11-0 run. Final 35 seconds. Pena down low, and he is fouled by Poplar, who almost slammed the ball, showed some restraint. How about Amir right here? That's one-on-one -on -one basketball and a little dream shake. Ah, finishes at the cup. It's just an impressive move from a very skilled big, undersized, but a bull. Poplar picked up his second. Omir's only picked up one foul in this first half. And he comes to the bench. Jim Laranega recognizing that. Doesn't want to risk any foul trouble for his big guy who may not be the leading scorer on this team. He might be the most indispensable player on the he's team. He's a presence. I mean, he's a presence. He rebounds in traffic. Good outlets to start the break. Back to the basket. Score. Hey, he moves bodies. He's a disruptor. About a two-second differential between game clock and shot clock. Isaiah Wong's got eight points, four from the free throw line. Shot clock down to six. PC pressing out. Wong on the dribble drive, lost it. And it's BC ball. And time expires in the first half. It is Miami with a 43-28 lead. The Hurricanes, six out of eight from three. They came into the game shooting just 26% from three in league games. In conference, BC lost to Duke twice. Last time out, a one-point defeat. Also lost to Syracuse. BC has wins against Virginia Tech and Notre Dame. Miami only has one loss in league play. That came last Wednesday to Georgia Tech. Eagles throw it inside to begin, and Omir picks up his second foul nine seconds into the second half. And, and, and it's the right call. I mean, these are the plays that Coach L is trying to eliminate from Omir. You don't need to try to squeeze in and make that deflection. Look how far Bickerstaff has pushed off the block. You've won. Let him make the catch and just defend. Up and under, no good. Bickerstaff there for the follow. <laughs> Light pressure from BC. Jordan Miller, 10 points, five assists in that opening half for Miami. Pack knocked down a couple of shots from the outside. Sends it inside, and that's too easy for Norchad O'Meara. League Bay, Zachary keeps it inbounds. Good look. Down low, DeMar Langford with great position. Just a good flash from Bickerstaff to that mid post area to catch, collapse the defense, dump down for an easy layup. Unselfishness for an easy one. Pack doubled, looking to shake Zachary. Zachary working defensively right there. Omir back to work on Bickerstaff, and a foul is called. It is on Omir. That is his third, so two quick ones early in the second half, and that's been the issue for Norchad Omir all season. That's a wrong call. I, that was a wrong call. That was a moving defender in Bickerstaff. You almost look at that and say, did he flop? And I think they're going to take that look. And that's what they're Jim Laranega is furious about right now. Yeah, that, that is not the proper call. And it's going to go Laranaga's way for voicing his displeasure. He will be the one who receives, the recipient of that tech. Yeah, he gets a technical foul. 
Makai Ashton Langford to the line, and for Boston College, O'Mears now picked up two quick fouls. You get the technical. And this is an entry point back into the game. Yeah, it, it should be the other way. It should have been not only not a charge, but a flop, which warrants a free throw on the other side of the tank. That, that's not the right call. So O'Meara heads to the bench. Anthony Walker checks in. The Miami lead is 11. And if there's minor wins you're looking at for BC to try to climb back, only down 11. Having O'Meara saddled with that foul trouble is massive. Let's see when BC brings Post back into the game. He only played a little more than five and a half minutes in the first half. He had two fouls. Langford over Poplar. And BC's outscored Miami 8-2 out of the break. That's what BC does. They're lingerers. They hang around and they fight. And that's the Coach Grant squad that arrives every night to play. They're not going to give up. They're going to hang around. They're going to compete. Wong puts it on the floor. Dribble drive. Fall away. Got it. But Kyash Langford's right there, and he's, he's doing what he's supposed to. That's, That's twice. Just... That's twice Wong has made a high degree of difficulty shot with a player draped right all over him. That's why I say he's one of the best scorers, not in the conference in the country. I mean, he really, no matter what you do, sometimes he wins. Zachary not there. The foul. It's against BC. It's on Langford. DeMar Langford, his second. I'm sitting here thinking too much dribbling walk. Get rid of the basketball. Langford's recovering. He's right there to contest. High release point. Defender in his face. Don't matter. Give me two. He's more than a score. He's a premium shot maker. You think about late game situations, end of shot clock situations. It's nice to, to have, have a, guy. a guy like that. Here comes Zachary the other way. He's got a trailer. Knocked away by Pack. Miami numbers the other way. Poplar lost it, and there goes the break. Now it's Wong. Catch and shoot. Three is good. 13 for Isaiah Wong. Salvaging what appeared to be almost a broken transition opportunity. It wasn't pretty basketball, but it results in a... A shot maker getting a look from the baseline. Active hands, too active as Pack picks up his first foul. So uh, there was also a push in the back to get Makai Ashton Lakeford out of the play by Poplar. Poplar also double dribbled on the play, and then he ultimately finds Isaiah Wong. So comedy of errors leads to three. Miami already has picked up. Three fouls here in the second half. Ashton Langford against Wong. Yeah, maybe those two go back and forth. BC's finding pathways to attack the rim and finish, and that's where Miami's got to be better, keeping those perimeter drivers from getting to that painted area because BC ain't hunting the three. So you can play off these guys a little bit, make them meet a chest on the drives. Pack gets separation. Miller can't get the tip. It comes to Bickerstaff. Here comes BC. Pushing. Ashton Langford lost it. It'll stay with the Eagles. The Miami lead is 12. Now, if I'm a transition defender for the Canes, to reiterate that point, when the ball's coming the other way, I'm running back to the painted area. I'm protecting the castle there. I'm not worried about the three-point, because, again, BC is the worst three-point shooting team in the conference. Don't worry about them out there. They're attacking. Protect the painted area if you're the Canes. That has to be the thought. Earl Grant has said, we play paintball. Ashton Langford down the lane for two. Too easy. Langford's a long guard, man. 6'3 out of Worcester, Massachusetts. Long 6'3. Often misspelled Worcester or mispronounced. Worcester. Here's Pack, Worcester. <laughs> and Miami turns it over. Had been pretty. But BC hanging around. Can they cut this thing to single digits? Only one way to find out. Stay tuned. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside. Out. Out. 
get healthy, real hydration. And no added sugar, artificial sweeteners, or added colors. Gatorade Fit. Healthy, real hydration today helps you feel tomorrow. Hey, Dark Roast Drinkers, there's a side of Dunkin' you haven't seen. The darkest, roastiest side we've ever had. Pretty good dark voice, huh? Meet Dunkin' Midnight, our darkest brew yet. Members get a $1 medium when ordering ahead. You can confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah, road hazard coverage has her back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental, welcome to the smart choice in tires. The newest thing for Pizza Hut isn't pizza at all. It's cheesy, so crispy, loaded with toppings and just $6.99. Enough for two, price for one. New Pizza Hut melts, just $6.99. I'll be like, shoes. We're the founders of Magic Spoon. Sugary cereal is delicious, but it doesn't hit our goals. So we reinvented it. Same great taste with more protein and zero grams of sugar. So you can have your cereal and eat it too. Kick off the year at magicspoon.com. Instacart shoppers know your order is more than just items. Fresh ingredients equals dinner time delights. Pesky replacements mean more playtime. Attention to detail leads to mealtime memories. Instacart shoppers make it happen so you get more time to save your life. At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. Every 15 seconds, our professional monitoring agents receive a call for help. Police are on their way. They use Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe to capture evidence and verify a threat is real so you can get faster police response. Because in here, your safety is the only thing that matters. Advanced home security, 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Maybe law of averages. Miami 5 of 32 from 3 last time out against Georgia Tech. Can't miss tonight. You know what, Anish, how I judge really talented and, and potentially special teams? How do you respond when you get knocked down? And you're seeing a pretty good response offensively from Miami. Now, they've had some of those careless turnovers that they could get rid of. Defensively, they do need to be better. But what you've seen is some pretty good execution offensively, at least those numbers there being highlighted. 62% from the field as well. BC shot it well as also as Makai Ashton Langford drives in. He's got 14 to lead all scores, and Miami has not had an answer for a drive from number 11. <laughs> and you know what I love? Zero for zero from the three-point line. He's just challenging and saying, you keep me from getting to the rim, you haven't shown me yet. Wong answers at the other end. Those two have been the high men for their team. 15 for Wong. Zachary 0 for 5 tonight. Bickerstaff down low. And two more for BC. The Miami lead down to 8 once again. And it's playing out real time. Beautifully illustrated right there why Omir getting in foul trouble devastates the interior defense from the Canes. That just allows a body and an easy finish for Bickerstaff down low. Are you surprised Post isn't out there for BC? A little bit. I I'm curious what's going on there. Is he not 100%? Is it a health thing? I know he got in that early foul trouble, but as talented as he is, it doesn't look like he's even close to returning to this game. Damar Langford! No interior presence. Boston College having their way in the painted area. And BC telling this Canes defense, hey, don't watch me. Watch TV. Because if you're going to get stuck watching a ball like this, I'm going to cut right in your face. Damar Langford, an extra step on that man's ladder. Up, up, and away.
The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At Xchair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. Xchair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold and touch into one extraordinary seating experience. Our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out of this world place of comfort and productivity. Xchair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work world zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At Xchair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com to find out how you can own an X-Chair for only $20 a month. xchair.com. When the details take precedence, the rest falls perfectly into place. We strip away everything but the essential. And what we're left with are thought bedrooms for modern living. Thuma. BetterHelp provides various options to connect with your therapist. We can do this via video, we can do this as a chat, we can do this over the phone. Whatever is most convenient for the client is really what's going to help them open up more at the end of the day. Success looks different for everyone, which means the path to success also looks different. For 75 years, University of Maryland Global Campus has helped adults succeed. You're not waiting to win, you're ready to succeed again at umgc.edu. At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. We design smarter ways to detect motion for fast emergency response. We create HD cameras so you can see what's happening in your home from anywhere. All powered by fast technology, exclusively from Simply Safe for faster police response. Because in here, your safety is the only thing that matters. Advanced home security, 24/7 professional monitoring. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Buying pants sucks. It should not be this difficult. These just came in. They're the only pant from Fabletics. Four-way stretch, done. Always stretch, you're going to feel the difference. I'm light as a feather, yeah, baby, I flow. It's hard to look at my resume and not find a reason to toast. I'm counting my blessings. We ain't stressing. Just look at this glow. Saturday prime time. Bucks, heat on ABC. Anish Shroff, Jordan Cornette here at Coral Gables, and we got a close one. Why? Because Boston College is doing exactly what Coach Grant wanted, paintball. And it's been Makai Ashton Langford, who's done a lion's share of it, challenging the perimeter defense of the Canes, winning time and time again. 30 points in the paint for the Eagles, and that's why they trail by two possessions, only six. And they have brought their big man back into the game, Quentin Post, the seven-footer. Omir with the three fouls back in for Miami. Got to. They missed his presence down low. But now he's a little bit handcuffed in how he plays. Because on the catch, they're going to try and draw charges. Up and under. Omir with a nice move. BC had trimmed the lead down to six after being down. 15 at halftime. Now it's back to eight and eight points, eight rebounds for North Chad O'Meara, closing in on his seventh double double of the season. And a hat tip to Harlan Beverly, who's come into this game again, a guy who's seen his minutes decrease this season, but he's been used. He's been ready throughout this game every time they've gone to him. He's made some key plays. First miss of the half for Ashton Langford. Beverly last year only played in four games, had a back injury and Miami is shorthanded in terms of size. No A.J. Casey tonight out with a shoulder injury. Beverly, shot fake. Now it's Juan. Whips it in the corner. The three by Joseph is good. That's the vision that you talked about at the start of the broadcast from Isaiah Juan. And that's why I love working with your partner, because you listen to me and you see it yourself. We looked right at each other. Distributor getting the extra look, the best look, because Wong had a decent look, but Joseph had an elite look. And that's where his game has evolved as DeMar Langford gets the easy finish. Jim Laranega telling us as a freshman, Wong, tunnel vision. 
as a sophomore, found his confidence. It, it's interesting when you stay with one program over the course of four years, player development. Well, is that, isn't that weird. amazing? It's so weird. Stick around with the program, play for a guy who knows what the hell he's doing. You get better, and you're a better off player for the next level when that time comes. Miller has a shot blocked, trapped, fighting for it down low, and calls a timeout to salvage the possession with 1.2 seconds on the shot clock. We'll step aside. Isaiah Wong. Shoot not it. just a score. Shoot it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to shoot it. I'm getting my teammates involved. They call him Benz. He's driving like one right now with the three. No. Come on, him. Ooh, I like him. The quicker picker upper. When you gotta get it done, one sheet is all you need. Because one sheet of bounty absorbs more than theirs, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Get the job done with one. Bounty, the quicker picker upper. Six days of the week, when you steal a fry from your friend, they can say, hey, I paid for those. But on Free Fries Friday, they can't. Free Fries Friday at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside. Out. Get healthy, real hydration. And no added sugar, artificial sweeteners, or added colors. Gatorade Fit. Healthy, real hydration today helps you fuel tomorrow. New year, new you, new Papa Bites. Chicken par, jalapeno, and Oreo cookie Papa Bites. Just in time for those New Year's resolutions, huh? <laughs> don't worry, we won't tell anyone. I don't like to spend a ton of time shopping, but I like to look good. For me, Poshmark makes that so easy. And whenever I get tired of something, I just relist it back on Poshmark. It's honestly a little addicting. Making some money I can spend, keep my wardrobe fresh. I pay over a hundred bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV. Get all the channels you want on the only live TV streaming service rated number one in customer satisfaction by JD Power. Try free at FuboTV.com. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's working hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Nate Schropp, Jordan Cornett, 1.2 seconds on the shot clock. What does Jim Laranega draw up? He's great in the ATOs. There's going to be heavy screening right here. If you're Boston College, switch everything. You don't have to worry about guarding a dribble drive or a mismatch. It's going to be a catch and shoot. Switch everything. Take away any clean look from a shooter. Beverly, the lob to Miller. That does not hit the rim. And a shot clock violation. BC down by as many as 15 at halftime has cut the lead to nine. They got as close as six. What has been the catalyst for this comeback? The comeback has been that BC has just challenged the Canes perimeter defense, and they're taking them off the bounce. They're getting to the rim. It's been a lot of Makai Ashton Lankford, and now post back in the game, but maybe a little cold and isn't able to finish at point blank range. You got to make that one at a great look. Miller down low, Omir. Goes to work on post. Help defense by Bickerstaff. And here comes BC. DeMar Langford. Post. Got down two threes against Duke. Almost traveled and turned it over. So back-to-back -back possessions. Post had a chance to make a play. Misses a layup. 
and then turns it over. And Post is a trailer capable of stepping into that three. I would have liked to see him take the first offering. Then when he drove it and Amir's in his sights, draw a fourth foul from Amir, embrace the contact, elected to do neither, and the Canes now possess the basketball. Miscommunication between Omir and Miller. And a turnover for Miami. And I thought Bickerstaff might have touched the basketball there, but made my eyes deceive me. The two Langford brothers have combined for 28. Zachary. And there's Jaden Zachary, his first basket, his first points of the game. That's it in a nutshell, right there. Just boom, boom, barrel into you, challenge it, no resistance, easy finish. And remember, Jaden Zachary was the catalyst down the stretch for Notre Dame. 10 of his 14 coming late to pull away from an Irish team that's struggling. Can he be a key cog in these final 10 minutes here? Wong for three, bingo, 18 on six of seven shooting for Isaiah Wong. Efficient. Is there such a thing as a quiet 18? It's <laughs> quiet? I mean, I just feel like he's not forcing anything here tonight. Yeah, that's fair. Coming off a one for 11 game last time out. Beverly takes it away from Langford, working the sideline. Oh. Down low to Miller, who finishes. Was the the most fluid jam, but it got the job done. Hey, it's two. You can't do it. What are you doing, judging? Can you dunk? Give me something to stand on. <laughs> Post down low for the two-handed flush. <laughs> the old line from Archimedes, give me a place to stand and I can move the earth. You're brilliant. You're brilliant. I'll tell you what, though. Harlan Beverly has been a difference maker. He has. Embracing his role tonight. He's one who pushed it on the break, made the proper decision to set up Miller for... Uh, what you would deem a questionable dunk, you dunk Sheena. Wong again, a 21 for Isaiah Wong. His 22nd 20 point game, third against PC in his career. There's Beverly defense on Langford. Tipped into the air, O'Meara wins the battle. Here comes Wong, he's got the hot hand. Wong pulls up, lets it go. Oh, the crowd got to its feet. Wong has it knocked away. Three on two for BC. Langford, hello! Uh, that'll be a way to put the butts right back in the seats here at Coral Gables. Omir working on post, back to Wong. And he'll play it back out to Beverly, 10 to shoot. Harland Beverly against Post, nothing. DeMar Langford, baseline drive over Wong. Yes, sir. 18 for DeMar Langford. Makai Ashton Langford's got 14. BC not going away. Well, Isaiah Wong got the crowd up on their feet with the triple. And they say two, a dunk is only two points. But not when it happened like this. DIY, do it yourself. Ugh. DeMar Langford, ladies and gentlemen, the flush. There's nothing quite as magical at a Disney Resort hotel. So imagine, complimentary rides to and from the park, even extra time with your family in the park. And right now, you can save up to 25% on rooms at select Disney Resort hotels. So if you're not staying here, just think what you might be missing. I'll be like, sunset on the It's not a pizza, it's a milk. And for $6.99, it's just for you. Now we're voyaging. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
This is a Floyd bed frame. Timeless design, enduring materials, simple to assemble, the Floyd bed frame is perfectly designed for how you live today and in the future. See our entire family of furniture at floydhome.com. This is your introduction into not being able to breathe. It's the show everyone is talking about. Fox Tonight, 16 celebrities began this journey. Why are you here? And four have already quit. It didn't even expect to last a day. Swim, let's go! She's panicking. Who will endure? Drop the attitude, now! The world's toughest military training. It's all about the strength of the mind. <gasps> Special Forces, world's toughest test. All new tonight on Fox. This bakery needs new equipment fast to keep up with demand. So they're going to On Deck, the online lender that makes it easy to choose your loan and if approved, get funds as soon as the same day. Your loan is On Deck. Some highlight plays here at Coral Gables. The rim safe for a second, not until DeMar Langford came with the one hand jelly. He's had himself a season high 18 points here 9 of 12 efficient like his brother five dimes they moved him to point about four or five games ago and as a handler this team has had a different look he's been scoring the basketball tonight anish 18 6 of 7 in the second half 12 of his 18 have come after halftime we come up on eight minutes to go and a foul on bickerstaff his second Only the second team foul on BC. And I think if you ask Coach Laranega, he'd take issue with that low tally for BC defensively. Post to the bench for BC. Omir in there with the three fouls. There's Bensley Joseph. Mason Madison, another three-point shooter in there for BC. Omir working down low, and he's in double figures with 10. And he's got a seventh double-double as a Miami Hurricane. And the Canes can't get bored with that. When it's that easy to dump down to a bull who can finish, keep feet, be gluttonous down low. Beverly again, his defense tonight has been a subplot and a big reason Miami's winning. You said the perimeter defense hasn't been great. He's made a difference when he's been in the game. Active hands. Uh, another guy, good size at the guard spot, good length. And those deflections have keyed runouts that have been huge for the Canes to sustain their lead. Jordan, I'd imagine that's not easy to do. Harlan Beverly, when he came to Miami, big time recruit, expected to have a big role as O'Neill misses the dunk but draws the foul. You import some transfers, your role diminishes. He had the injury last year. But to see a guy like that embrace his role on the team instead of, hey, I'm going to go somewhere else, you just don't see that all that much these days in college basketball. Yeah, it's a belief in the program. It's the selfless nature of the young man, but of the ideals of the program. And him, much like Anthony Walker, another piece on this roster that you know, guys that were used to playing heavy minutes played for a really good team last year that have seen that role diminish, but understanding it's a long season. You never know when your number is going to be called. And Beverly, who gets minutes sparingly throughout the season, has been huge tonight, and that will show up on film tomorrow and be honored. And making the case for more minutes going forward. It's a 12-point Miami lead. It was 15 at halftime. Post setting the screen. McLaughlin, 21 for BC, has been an X-factor 
Hasn't played a whole lot tonight. DeMar Langford elevates and scores. Langford having himself a game. Three off a career high. He's got 20. Miller's been quiet in the second half. And Ashton Langford rebounds the miss. Pushing off the window. Offensive rebound, McLaughlin. Battle for the ball, it's McLaughlin. Here comes Langford down the lane. Kicks to Madsen. Three on the way, good. BC refusing to go away. We saw this Saturday against Duke. All grit. Just a refusal to give up on the play, generating second chance opportunity and a rare three in the most timely of manners. That's why Madsen was imported from Cincinnati. Make a skyline chili reference and degrade it and we'll have an issue here. Harlan Beverly from the outside. I don't have anything good to say about Skyline so Chili, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Well, I know you have a lot of good things to say about Harlan Beverly. Again, knocking down, er, er, making a play offensively, this time knocking down the three. He's been all over the place making plays. But Lockton is making an impact since checking in. And we get a whistle down low. And here's the fight you see from Boston College. Then ultimately Madsen getting the three ball to keep with this thing, but it's been punched and there's been a counter punch from the Canes. Harlan Beverly, who's showed up all over the place making plays, bangs down a three right there. The Canes have made a living off the three point line tonight. 11 of 16. It's incredible. Out of bounds on Miami, so BC ball, McLaughlin missing the bunny. And it will go to Miami. How it's many layups has BC missed right at the rim tonight? you got to complete the play if you're McLaughlin, but it's inexcusable for the Canes to allow somebody to cut right in front of you when a, the utmost importance is protecting the goal. Canes dodge one. On layups tonight, BC is only 12 of 23. Some of them aren't contested. Some of them you just got to finish. Omir off the feed from Joseph, who does the goggles. A heck of a, that's a heck of a delivery. I don't know how he's able to thread the needle there. Post thought about it. Drives down the lane. Crowd wanted a walk. The basket counts. Well, they shouldn't. It's the Euro step. That was all within rule. And he's from Amsterdam. <laughs> and we get a foul along the baseline on Ashton Langford. Bensley Joseph. What? What a look. Bounce pass evades the defender, the long Quentin Post. And the punctuation from Omir. Joseph in a similar role to last year when he backed up Charlie Moore. They call him a sixth man, but coach says he gets starter minutes. I look at him as a starter. He's their best on-ball defender, but he's a point who delivers first and sets guys up. Look no further than that delivery to Omir. A sophomore from Arlington, Massachusetts. And Omir, another rebound, a new 20. We come up on 420 to play in regulation. Beverly to Wong. And a careless turnover by Miami's star senior. Wong wanted to make a play before the ball got there. A little bit eager. And that cost him one. It's a, it's a, you're at a crossroads here. You're about to get to the under four. BC wants to cut this thing back to single digits, running out of time. This possession looms pretty large. Zachary passed on the three, drives, great defense, no foul by Omir. Beverly. And that Omir presence was the one that was lacking that allowed all those points in the paint. He's returned. Harlan Beverly playing his best game of the season. Ten points, four assists. He's done it on the defensive end as well. I can go ahead and guarantee Coach L will be heaping praise on one of his role guys who's been a star tonight. We get a whistle. A double foul was called. Omir, his fourth, post his third. Will step aside, 350 to go in regulation. Miami by a dozen.
Ever wonder why they call it the American dream and not the American goal? Eric Jeter. Or plan? Maybe. It's because in dreams, you can do anything. In dreams, you can hold your entire world in the palm of your hand and turn time inside out again and again. And you can do it all with your eyes wide open. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside. Out. Get healthy, real hydration. And no added sugar, artificial sweeteners, or added colors. Gatorade Fit. Healthy, real hydration today helps you fuel tomorrow. Breakfast wants you back. Try Just Crack an Egg, packed with real potatoes, veggies, meat, and cheese. Just add a fresh egg for a hot scramble in less than two minutes to get those warm, fuzzy feelings again. Take breakfast back. Find it in the egg aisle. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah, road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental, welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. A mystery. Jesse loves playing detective. But the real mystery was your irritated skin. So we switched to Tide Pods Free and Gentle. It cleans better and doesn't leave behind irritating residues. And it's gentle on her skin. Case closed. It's got to be Tide. What happened to your New Year's resolution? My resolution is to eat better. Epic Stuff Crust. Better ingredients, better pizza. I'm eating better. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing in my house? Don't answer. I thought you said you weren't coming back. Poshmark is the perfect side hustle. There's so much I can sell. Bags, clothes, and even electronics. It's so easy. I can list in 60 seconds or less. I can't imagine a better side hustle. So a double foul was called on the two postmen, Quentin Post and Norchad Omir. That's three on Post, four on Omir. And then following that, a technical foul issued against BC head coach Earl Grant. Yeah, Earl Grant engaged a little bit with uh, one of the really good refs here in college basketball. Frustration happens, but got into it a little bit. Uh, Kurt Smith and uh, earned himself a tech there. And I get the frustration. Uh, both guys, I feel like both coaches have been frustrated at times tonight with the whistle. I thought it's been a pretty fair um, call tonight. But obviously, you got Earl Grant who did not like what transpired down here. It felt like the arm to his big and post warranted a, a quicker reaction and a stronger whistle, perhaps. Wong hits one out of two on the technical, 76-63. And now for BC, the three-point struggles really get highlighted. You're toward the end of the game. You're down double digits. And you haven't been a good three-point shooting team all season. Post backing down over Omir, and that's the play. He's got four fouls, and Post went right after him. And that's something if you're this Eagles team, you wish you've had throughout the game. Early foul trouble from Post. For whatever reason, Coach Grant elected to keep him on the bench. Hasn't seen the minutes he's accustomed to seeing. Maybe health-related, don't know. But that's what he provides when he's on the floor, the ability to score it like that. Only his fourth game back after missing the first 13 with a foot injury. Omir puts it on the floor. Joseph, shot clock at zero. He got it off and hits the rim. Omir, the offensive rebound, a new 20. Huge for Miami. An uncanny ability to rebound in traffic because of the strength. Miller down low. Count it. I say it time and time again about Jordan Miller. The guy just has a magnetism about the basketball. He puts himself in positions as a receiver, garnered the attention by pointing up to the sky at 6'7 for Beverly to find him. And again, Harlan Beverly 
a winning play, distributing the ball to Miller to get a very crucial basket to extend the lead to 13. Now, one of the questions for Miami, their depth. And if Harlan Beverly can start to be a contributor like he's been tonight, it just gives Jim Laranega one more arrow in that quiver. Absolutely. But you keep him engaged. And he's clearly been engaged because when he's come out, those minutes have been productive. Tamar Langford strong. Beverly fighting for the rebound. Loose ball. Ashton Langford has it. He gets tied up. And a foul is called. He's starting to get a little chippy here in the last under three minutes. Officials are going to really have to be cognizant of that to the close. 50-50 basketball. Winning time. Guys are going to Really lay it all out there. Just want to see this one end amicably. That's always the most important. Sixth team foul on Miami, so BC in the bonus from here on out. Ashton Langford uncontested. Joseph, pass was knocked down by DeMar Langford. Now Beverly would tend to shoot on Pena. To the rim, Harlan Beverly once again. It's been incredible. What a boost that young man has provided from scoring to defending to distributing. He's checked all the boxes. Pena for three. It doesn't go. Wong able to come up with it. Up ahead, it's Beverly. Lines it up, and it rolls in. That kind of night for Harlan <laughs> Beverly. Aston Langford in attack mode, nothing there. And Miami can see the end line as Miller is fouled by DeMar Langford. A one and one for the Canes. The lead is 17. You can't say enough about what you saw tonight from Harlan Beverly. Number five out here playing like a five-star, doing everything for this group. Isaiah Wong always has his eyes up. Harlan Beverly, you're thinking, hey, just hold up. You don't need it. But it's been that kind of night for him. That thing touched every part of the rim and decided to go on through the net. In 19 minutes off the bench, Beverly, 15 points, five assists, two steals, six of seven from the field, and he made both of, both of his – Miami has a team 12 of 17 from three-point range. Just one game after going 5 of 32. Impressive stuff. And of, of the questionable times where I feel like the Canes didn't defend to the ability they can, allowing some of these drives and finishes at the rim, it has not been Harlan Beverly that's allowed his man to beat him, at least that I can recall throughout tonight. And that's been the difference down the stretch. BC made a little run, got to within single digits. You bring Beverly into the game, the defense goes up a notch. Absolutely. Provided a heck of a lift. One twenty to go. Makai Ashton Langford out of control. A league bay off the shot fake. He's been quiet tonight. And a jump ball possession arrow to BC as Joseph got tied up. 113 to go. Miami on its way to going to 5-1 and one in the ACC. You were telling me before the game you feel this Canes team is the best team in the ACC. Why? Yeah, check with me before you say the things on the broadcast so I'm comfortable agreeing with them. But this is what I will ride with. This is what I'm comfortable with. <laughs> yes, they are. I, do you, you, I think you agree with me a little bit in this one. And I say that they're the best team in the ACC because this team is built to go far in March. They've got veteran players who understand coach's vision. Their transfers have fit in seamlessly, and they're balanced. They can score better than they can defend, but they can guard. Where they must be better is when they play physical teams, they have to be more physical. They adjusted in the second half, and that's why they're about to go on a win by 20-plus tonight. 19 points now for Jordan Miller. Bickerstaff over O'Meara. What Jim Laranega loves about this team, 
he has so many guys who can carry you on a given night. We know what Isaiah Wong can do. Nigel Pack is capable. Jordan Miller is capable. Omir is capable. And then today, you get the production from Harlan Beverly. Early on, Wugga Poplar scored seven of the first eight points. It's a team that has great weapons and a team that continues to get better as we get a shot clock violation. But as Jim Laranaga cautioned us during shoot around today, hey, we're only at halftime of the season. You're judged ultimately on what happens in March. Yeah, absolutely. And understanding that you can't get too high or too low in the season because it's a long one. And you're trying to play into the end of March. And this group's focus. They looked a part of a, 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 a team that's 16th in the nation, and quite possibly a lot better than that. Impressive to win in conference, impressive to be this dominant in the second half. Against a BC team that's known for quality defense.